Ja, ale bym. Good afternoon, please come in. Please come forward. We'll feel together. Students, please come forward. Thank you. So I'm very, very happy to introduce our master class, our daily, daily master class. So today a stage is given to a very special person who was in Keshe Tilon from the first day, one of the founders of Keshe Tilon, wonderful uh, violinist, uh, pedagogue, and uh, by chance or not by chance, my wife, Ani Schnarch. Thank you. A few words. Our usual master classes are, are, are made out of two performers, two students playing for an artist. And I have decided to work with three students. One reason is that the pieces that they are playing together are connected, disconnected. The second reason is that the last uh, performer I have known for 10 years and she was successful during this, very successful, so it's a very, it, she has, holds a very dear place in my heart. So I couldn't say you don't play today. So uh, this is the reason you can see today three performers. And we'll start, and I'll talk about this later.
bravo, well done, very well done, beautiful. Um, now we had a great friend here, many great friends. One of them, um, Fed, Ibrigite, said, music is too rich to have only one way. So, um, you know, I respect very much what you're doing. Um, I think you are a very lovely performer. And I would suggest that you were not so lovely all the time. <laughs> I, sometimes I'm missing the national qualities of the music. I mean, you're a wonderful violinist. And I hear your violinistic, you know, uh, mode. You don't need to change. I will just uh, share with you some of my ideas. So, um, all Bal Balkan and, um, and um, Bohemian music has got lots of uh, upper voices. And very few basses, if you think about Martino, if you think about Dvorak, which uh, the terzetto, there is no bass there. And I, I would uh, recommend that you think about that. Mm -hmm. So that your voice becomes much higher in projection. This is first thing. Second thing about Dvorak, he is nationalist, uh, you know, a composer, right? So what means national, nationalist composer? Means that he writes of country music of the countryside, not music of the urban music. You know, all the, the rich people from the cities were going to Vienna and to Paris to study, but he absorbed his ideas from the from the folk music, and I need to hear here more higher voices. In more folk, what means folk? It means song and dance. So I hear some dance, I hear some song, but all I hear, mostly I hear wonderful violin playing, right? So first thing that I suggest, go for top, top voices when you play. So that you sound like that rather than like that, right? Going to try a bit. Beginning. Do you know, uh, have you seen Disney movies? Yeah. Disney, Walt Disney movies. Oh, this one. Yes. <laughs> have you seen Bambi? Bambi. Oh, he's got a father with antlers. <laughs> right? You like, play up, play broad, shoulders to the back, in the sockets. <laughs> Very good, very good. So you have some song here. Na 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 na. Yoradani. With direction. You don't have to play it slower. For me, it's slightly on the fast side, but slightly on the fast side. You think there is not enough countryside in this. You have Tatra mountains and you have the, the hills and lots of jumping, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, the little things, lumps. Right? Da ya da bam 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 bam. Right? There you go. They want me. have to, to uh, go to with vibrato from one can transfer vibrato we don't have to start and so on and so forth so normally it's very rhythmic you're playing very rhythmic but I'm missing direction right now up You don't have to return to what you already said, right? There you go. I like to believe that long notes are not just to be long and kept at the same level. 
that they are flexible. So if in particular, if you sing, if that be played, very good to sustain the sound, wonderful. But they that right? You are counting very well. Again, and you are a wonderful violinist, wonderful student, wonderful musician, but more imagination maybe will give you more, uh, what is it called, more stature, right? <laughs> Now shout, go up and shout like in Bohemia and on the other side. Two accents. Yum, pam, pam, yum, yum, pam, yum. No. Yum, pam, hey. Right? Speed of bow in the top note, then slow down the bow. Much longer. You are going to hear it, it's right side. Right? Yeah, I prefer um rather than yeah. Fast bow. Yeah, and never this way. So always that way, and if you need more bow to the side as well, right? Bravo. What do you have here? This on the fingerboard? Yes. Sorry. What we are, uh, you are in that ma major here? B. But to yo, to to, right? You don't have to hit it. You, uh, to different tonality. There is nothing happening here in the orchestra, yes? Take time. Go. And go, and go, and go. What, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Bravo. Continue, bravo. Continue. that you actually start from the string. From the string, I want to hear it. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Sorry. So the bow is slow and slower. I want to hear ta -ta 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 -ta. right? You play yap No, if you if you play, say, can you play for me three equal notes for third position re D equal to wonderful. Is this a waltz? Waltz. No, can you make it a waltz now? Mm. 
right? So it is different direction and different feeling of the three equal notes, right? Now the same, yam pa pra. If you play yam pa pra, yam pa pra, it's not a dance. You need to stomp it. Yam pa pra, and not on the trill. Trills, trills are the second and fourth beat, right? So yam pa pa, ram pa pa, ram. There you go. Arpeggio stood it up. The ring, pom pom, not yam. Pum, pum, way direction, right? The way in the way direction. What is this? What is that? Dance! Yada ta pam, ta ya pa pam, pa la ta ta, te ya wa wa. And they all need to have the same feeling, the same stamp, right? Like the beginning one. Ti ya da ti ti, ta ya pa pam. Now it becomes a, a dance, right? But I'm wondering, can you make a, actually echo? Ya da da da, ya da da da, ya da 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 Then crescendo, right? Go. Crescendo. That's beautiful, beautiful. You know, these two notes for me are always like you are hardly daring to touch. Like you have bells, you know, flowers bells. Right? This is beautiful, the rest is beautiful. Different. Right? They don't have to be identical. Different tonalities. Dark. Yes. You have a G played. With flatter hair, flatter hair nearer to the bridge. Yeah, just this. Go, go, go! This is tamed. Yam paka da 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 Paka da with martelle when you go to the doubles. Yam paka, yam paka. The yam paka ti ti da, right? Yeah, very good. It's careful. And you need to be like, well, you do archery here? Oh, yes. You do. So when you, uh, the, the arrow doesn't stop before the target. So, yam. Yum pum, yum pum, right? Last time, and I had to, we had to scrunch. Yeah, you don't have to rush, you just have to bite. Um, um, bite, bite, fingers, fingers, right? Just play one slowly. Now that you are playing ah uh, instead of pum, that's it, and again, no, martele. That's it. Only the first one. You don't have to continue because it will become heavy. So first and first, right? Yes. Next, Martele. Ah! Yes. yes. 
it's martelé is a stroke which needs preparation. So you need to prepare it before. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. You need to prepare it before. While you're playing the bass double stop, you need to prepare the bite. Right, just this and we stop. Yeah, this one instead. Pam. Yes. In particular, the top one, because it's in involved, intonation is involved, they're getting to it, you're a little bit insecure about that. No, you are very secure, but you could be more secure. All right, thank you very much for playing. <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you very much. Thank you.
sure you know that this is a sonata called uh, the Rainfall Sonata, right? Um, and would you like to tell the public why it's called the Rainfall? Because uh, Brahms wrote a song, a leader called Rainfall, and it is identical. The subject of the rondo is Rainfall. <laughs> All the, all the piano part is uh, little drops of, of, uh, drops of rain, right? And um, speaking about that, I was wondering um, when it's raining. Uh, there was a fantastic movie called uh, Umbrellas of Cherbourg. People that maybe know about this. And there's a scene in this movie in which the couple are in the car and he makes the, the wipers work. But actually, it's not the rain outside, it's the tears in his eyes that are, that are disturbing him to see, right? And a little bit here, quite similar, that, that the tears in there, you need really to play with tears in your eyes. And you play beautifully, very touching. Not sure about the tears. And I want to try a gimmick. Do you mind me trying a gimmick? Can we lower the, the light to half, please, on stage? More, 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 much more, more. No? That's it? That's, that's much better. Can you play now? Because when it's raining outside, it's not very, it's not very bright, right? Can you try? That's very good, that's very good. You played very touching before, thank you very much. You played very touching beforehand. But now there is an, an element of intimacy that I, I missed previously, right? This and opposite to the intimacy, that's too much light for rainy days. Um, uh, opposite to the intimacy, you, you have forty. I didn't feel you did reach the forty, mm. right? So again, it is wonderful. Why I chose this sonata? First, because it's such a touching subject. Second thing, you, re you know when it was written? 1878. The same year as the Dvorak concerto that we heard previously. The same year as the Brahms concerto. And guess what? The same year the Tchaikovsky concerto was written. Anybody knows anything about 1878 that can enlighten in history? I don't know, I need to research more. You understand? So that it was a very, very uh, pr a prolific year. In particular for Brahms who wrote the concerto. And I think that because the concerto is opus 77 and this sonata is opus 78, meaning written after the concerto, the Subjects were quite limited, maybe. This is why he recycled his, his um, leader, last movement, right? But something must be what is absorbed from the concerto. Maybe it's like the Hungarian dance in the first Mozart. Maybe quite similar as a Hungarian dance. I, you're playing very classical. Maybe a little bit more, I daren't say gypsy, I would say more Hungarian, right? Let's try once more from the game, if you don't mind, right? Yeah. Always the dilemma is, do you play this as a third movement? Or do you play this as an only movement? So if you play third movement, then you, you pick up the second movement, the end of the second movement, and you play that. But are you going to play it as a third movement or only movement? Maybe today only movement. OK, so you need to start in a different manner. Yes? Until the end. <laughs> urge you to play legato rather than portato. So, so did, did you have more than one kind of articulation, right? 
So if you play portato, then you have separate, 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 right? So legato, toro, legato means crescendo between the notes. So you have separate, pam, pam. Now legato, ta, crescendo, ta, ro, na, niro, right? <laughs> One more thing, I have so many details. Ta -da -da -di, you go there, no, ta -da -da -di, ta -da. so make a long, long line, right? <laughs> yes, a practical advice, when you go to this string, you need to play crescendo, otherwise I'm losing the, the, the projection. So you need to have more hair, maybe more a stickier look. Now. Very good. Wonderful, what happens with the rest? This is sospinando, sospirando, whatever. Well, how do you call it? Sospinando? Yes? You have a formal rest. So regard in the, the indication of the composer as life rather than formal. Okay? Very good. Very good. Now you need to wait into the down ball. But wait, then ding. So you are in a circle, as a, as a phrase, right? You are too high on the bow for the F. And, and then no. Oh. Now it becomes more interesting for me, at least, right? Good, let's continue. Very good. So I'm going to ask you to play only the semiquaver, 16 notes. Nothing else but 16 notes. Okay. Okay. Just 16 notes. I don't understand. You are doing the same thing or you are responding? In tempo, the same, the same articulation, the same feeling. There you go. You can play the second and fourth on the down bow. Try. Okay, so the second group and the fourth group, not two by two. Yakataka, bakata, patatato, patatato. The same place. Nothing is happening. Nothing is. You say T and she says ta ti ta, right? Yeah, and this is tension. Ta da da da. Ah, not yo, but yo. So she has like. Yes, vibrato starts late though. I wouldn't use so much vibrato because it's diminished, so we don't want to make it, you don't want to make it beautiful. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yes. Some people, some pianists like to play with open stick, they want to hear themselves with lots of harmonics. 
the danger is in Brahms and Schumann thereabouts and that it's written, the, the music is written in an un, what is it called, uh, not a pleasant um, part of the violin. So you need to have cutting edge in the, in the now that you are playing a little bit fluffy. Yeah, too much hair. I would use less hair, more third finger on the bow. Yes. I would use that so that you can come out on top of the ta ka ta ka ta ka ta right? Right? Now, so, there, to the big flat. Take a little bit of time, though you don't have to play absolutely. You go to competition like this, so you can't take time. But if you want to really play, I think you can take time, right? Keep it free. Here. Can you find the new voice again? I play with her cutting edge rather than, than the fluffy sound. Maybe vibrato start late though. So both hands fast, slow. Yes. I prefer this sound. I don't know what about the public. Does the public prefer this sound or they prefer the fluffier one? Can we have an opinion? Yes, what? Fluffier or not fluffier? Not fluffy. Not fluffy. Right. You've studied with me sometime in the year? Okay, very good. Let's go. Not fluffy. Oh, you need to pick. Taya. A bit Russian, huh? Yes. Not Russian, but... Some. Yes. Now, I, I have a rule that when I have a long note, I use little bow. When I have a, a short note, I use lots of bow. So, totally half, half, half and half, half and half, right? Try. Yeah, go, go. Without accent, without accent, it's not about accents. It's crescendo between the notes. Crescendo. That's beautiful. And you can go up and go. You can play uh, your uh, idea. Just make sure it is not the same level. Thank you very much indeed. Beautiful playing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Your music, yeah? Your music.
beautiful, and thank you very much for playing for me. You know, we, we know each other for 10 years? Yeah, 10 years. Good time. Yeah. You grew up, <coughs> and I too. <laughs> right. Beautiful playing, beautiful playing. Um, you know, my main, uh, my main um, recommendation is to become more yourself. You know, have you been taught so well? But I don't feel, you know, remember that Sibelius comes from Finland. Finnish people are very aggressive, were very aggressive, were very aggressive. Even the Vikings, you know, the Vikings, they were afraid of the Finnish people. And I, I, you have this in you, but I feel that it's too tamed what you are. You know what tamed is? Translation, anybody here can translate? It is too nice, little puppy, rather than, than enough. I feel that you are playing too much to the bottom instead of being proud. I mean, I'm trying to remember when I saw Oyster, no, I didn't, on, on YouTube, right? Oyster, Hype, Menuhin, uh, Pinky Zuckerman, they all are so proud. And I don't see any reason for you not to be proud too, right? Now, at the beginning, there, uh, there are so many people that start piano. It's not. It's mezzo forte. So mezzo forte for me is almost 40. Right. So let's put it this way. Maybe it's not everything frozen and then the sun starts coming up. Let's call it Aurora Borealis. Do you know what Aurora Borealis is? The northern light. How about that? So on top, you know, the, the sea is very, very quiet. And then the colors come in. It's gorgeous. It's mezzo forte, so suddenly you're seeing the sky. Rather than being cold, you are warm. That's dolce, right? Try it again. Open, open, open. There you go. Aurora Borealis, these lights are not straight. They have curves. But na na, na. you're right, you need to be very rhythmic. And this is where people fail in this movement on the rhythmic. But you know it needs you need to mold it. You need to give it shape. Right? Please. To the back. to the back. Yeah, great make. No, different rhythm, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it needs to be in your fingers. In particular, mire, 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 right? Yes. Open. Uh, Open your shoulders. Oh, that's it. Give it a shame, you bet. Not too much. Too soon. Oh. Stay there. Please. Rhythmic, please, though. And open. Open your shoulders. Now it's for third for the way too soon. And then you can go. You need to recognize the first forte. It's like you put a flag. Oh, here is first forte, right? about this diminuendo. Because everybody plays diminuendo to nothing. And salito, you know. I would recommend once to try and play diminuendo to sol. Taririm, to radati, fa, you know, try, right? To sol. Yeah, this, this way you can make the connection, right? Consider that. 
that. Talk to your teacher. Oh, don't. Tadam, tadam. Yeah, the whole thing, orchestra, please. Tadam, tadam. So it is sixty note semiquaver. You don't say semiquaver. Sixty note. Tadam. So you need some kind of martelli because the sol doesn't sound after open, the G doesn't sound after open string. So you need, first of all, less hair, more cutting edge, and martelli. <laughs> Very good. Sixteen notes. They are all sixteen notes. Please. Very good. You don't need to play them heavy. You can play just the rhythmic. You don't want to go to the next long round. Right? Accent, accent, no accent. Beautiful. Open. Yeah. So the first arpeggio is singing. The second one's drumpam. So you don't play them the same feeling. So take every single note with vibrato, right? No, tio, tio, Can't hear ta ta ya. Pronouns and. No, volcano. Okay, that's great, that's great. What I wanted to say, very little time. If you play, if you think about cadenza, right? So, do 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 you play um, eight note or sixteen note? Shoot, you are playing very long sixteen note, right? Okay. You remember the sixteen note? Ta ta ya ta. Ta ta. Ta ta. Yes, it's very soft. Ta ti. Ta pa ta. Remember the Vikings? I'm afraid of you, right? And and. I love the long note, but nothing happens to it. That's it. Yam, padam. You, you again, padam. It goes so fast. Ta ta, ya da da da. Yeah, wonderful. I love your energy. It's just sometimes I hear that you are cutting, uh, uh, what is it, wood a little bit. So don't press so much. More speed in the bow rather than so vertical, right? Note. Eight. I don't know. Eight note or sixteen note? I it's somewhere in between. Eight. No, it's an eight. Ta da! It's an eight. No, an eight. Sorry. So you see, if the composer wrote, wrote here an eight and sixteen there, he really meant it, right? So I would go. You know, you can write on your iPad, yes. Yeah, so I would go with red and uh, with red color and they say 16 note, 16 note, 16 note, right? So that it, it, it jam 